Okay, so I'm back with a quick look at my collection. Uh, I don't think I've done a collection update for some time now, possibly a year or so. Uh, so I thought it was high time that uh, I took you through what I've uh, picked up in the interim. Not a lot has changed here. This is my overflow shelf. Uh, a lot of my duplicate alt modes and things like that. Uh, obviously still got my KO MP44 at the top there and my Hasbro Rodimus, along with my Takara combat deck. And then, uh, what else have we got on the top there? A bunch of uh, figures from x Transbots, Bag Cube, and some official Takara, MMC. Uh, yeah, so there's a, there's a variety of things up there. Um, moving on down, we come to my KO Oversized Feral Rex. That's uh, the Jin Bao version, I think. And obviously that comes with uh, the sixth bot. Uh, it can barely stand up, but I do love the way it looks, so uh, that's why I still have it on display, even though it's not really completely tune accurate, shall we say, and it can't even really fit into the display case. Moving down, we come to my Combiner Wars Devastator. Now, this is the European version, but I have some purple fists for it to give it a little bit more of a G1 look. And next to him, we have uh, the Make Toys Endgame, which was their dirge. And Lord knows whether we'll ever get the other two, or whether I'm even bothered anymore. Um, I probably will go to Kara if they do uh, actually release them. Uh, or maybe to Kara KOs, actually, because I'm not too bothered about the cone heads compared to the official Seekers. We shall see. Um, Moving on down, and we come to some Season 2 Autobots. Again, nothing new here, really, I think, since last time. Got the big boy there, there's DX9's Gabriel, their Omega Supreme. Um, what else have we got? Uh, yeah, some x Transbots figures. We've got their uh, Klaatu Cosmos. Um, that uh, is the Art of Deformation Glider, which is the KO of DX9's, uh, what is it, Rich to Fun? And, yeah, what have we got here? That's the plus version, isn't it, of, uh, of Smokescreen and then x Transbot Savant, which I prefer to the official masterpiece, so I've kept that. And then the much maligned tracks at the back there. I don't really collect Season 2, but, you know, there were fallow months in collecting and I ended up picking up a few things. But, yeah, nothing new here as far as I can remember from the last video, so let's move on. OK, please excuse the mess. Uh, this is now doubling as my home office, what with the fact that I've been at home for two years and I don't think I'll be going back anytime soon. So, yeah, it's a bit cluttered and I didn't really have any room for these bots. So they're kind of a mix of desk bots. I've got my T01 Prime there. I've got the version 3 and the version 1 there. Uh, I decided to keep both even though they don't really fit in the display. And then over here I've got my MP13, well it's actually the MP, is it O2, the Hasbro version? It's O2 or O3 isn't it, one of them, with the, the other cassettes that I'm not using. Um, and then here, obviously I don't have these guys, uh, the Make Toy Seekers on the desk like this all the time, but I had nowhere else to display them and I wanted to just show them off, so I've left them here for the time being. Uh, but yeah, I love the way these look in art mode. Even though I, you know, obviously they've been supplanted by uh, the officials in robot mode. So yeah, this is just a, a random odds and sods look. Uh, and as I said, excuse the mess. Uh, space is at a premium at the moment and, and it's only getting worse. Okay, let's move on to uh, some actual proper display bots, shall we? Okay, here we are. We're looking at, uh, obviously this is the official MP36 there with his battle damage. And I've got the little microbots that came with uh, what was it x transbots Janssen um, uh, I mean I call it Janssen because that was the guy's name but uh, yeah it sounds poncy doesn't it maybe I should go with Janssen and obviously next to him I've got my O1 Studio cell there in his alt mo looking pretty sweet and then Above that, I've still got my Transformers the Movie posters. So you've got the American one there and the Japanese one there. And then in this middle, uh, on this middle shelf, sorry, I've got some more alt modes. Uh, now these are all figures that I've replaced. As you can see, there's the original Smokescreen and then the, the original Blue Streak Prowl and Wheeljack there, along with the uh, Fans Toys Willis, which has also been swapped out. And then at the back there, I've got the UK poster for Transformers the Movie, which is my favourite. 
and then next to it another cell this time in bot mode and I've coupled him with Fans Toy Sovereign this is the original release and uh, I think they look pretty sweet together it's, it's a nice symmetry having the bot mode with Galvatron and having the alt mode with uh, a smashed up Megs uh, and down the bottom there I've just got the little uh, Abaddon figure that comes with x Transbots Elagos. I just thought it looked quite sweet for scale, even though obviously scale's out the window with this guy. Okay, so that's the, uh, the top display. Again, I don't think too much has changed there since last time. But uh, yeah, let's move on to the Autobots. Okay, and this is uh, probably, you know, one of the best displays, I think, or, or certainly the, the most complete. And this is my Season 1 Autobots collection. Now here we have uh, the usual suspects. Uh, Obviously Prowl, Blue Streak, Jazz, Ironhide and Trailbreaker. Now again, I don't think too much has changed here actually. Um, although what I will say is that I'm soon to swap out Terrageous at the back there with Fans Toys Outrider um, whenever that arrives. And I also have Fans Toys Jive on order. So poor old Downbeat there will be getting swapped out with something slightly more tune accurate at some point over the next year. Uh, moving down, we come to the second shelf. And again, very similar to last time, you've got the Wheeljack, Sunstreaker, Sideswipe, Ratchet, Mirage and Hound. And I think the only thing to say here is that I will also be swapping out uh, Speedstar with Phantom, which I believe is what fans toys are calling their Mirage. Uh, but yeah, other than that, not much has changed here either. Uh, moving on down... Uh, we actually come to some movie bots now in this cabinet and as you can see I've got uh, some of the main players from the movie cast. I only really tend to collect the uh, the new characters to the film, not the existing ones, uh, with some exceptions. Um, but yeah, obviously there we've got uh, Hot Rod, uh, Cup, Blur and RC and I think, you know, I'm I'm not overly happy with any of these to be honest. Uh, they've all got their issues. Obviously, Hoodlum had some well-documented issues, but it's the best of the available hot rods, I think. I don't like the official MP51, and uh, MMC's Azalea is too small, so I still think Rouge is probably the best option for RC, um, even with its issues. Um, Blur, you know, back there, I love um, I love Jabba's mould. I just annoyed. Uh, I'm just annoyed that they messed the colours up. And then obviously this is the version 2 of x Transbots Lock, which we all know was a garbage figure. And this is slightly better, but uh, this will be new to the display because it's the V2. But yeah, uh, the paint isn't as good on this. So the build's better, but the paint's not as good. You can probably see the two-tone thighs there and the, the dodgy paint on the buckle and things like that. But uh, there's also a big space at the back there for x Transbots Virtus to, to fit in when he's released, hopefully you know, in the, in the not too distant future, considering I paid for it over a year ago. Okay, moving on down, we come to the bigger bots, and at the back there we've got the official Magnus, which I will swap out with, uh, what are they calling it nowadays? I think it's Commander Stack now, which is the, the new x Transbots Ultra Magnus, which looks pretty good. And there we've got the KO oversized uh, Reximus Prime with the uh, wheelie sat astride, and then I think maybe I've changed this since the last video. I now have Rekgar riding his fellow uh, junkie on Junkyard there. So I think they were both in bot mode last time I did this video. And then, uh, yeah, obviously the official Takara Rodimus there, which not a great figure, but, you know, looks okay in bot mode, uh, even though this is the reissue with the orange butt. Okay, so that's enough for this cabinet. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, and yet more Season 1 Autobots in this one. Uh, I've given Prime his own shelf here. And again, I don't think there's really much to say about this that I didn't say in my previous video. I think I've perhaps changed the pose since last time, maybe. Um, but I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, still a good looking figure from the front and slightly off axis. Not so great from the side and the rear, but you know. I still prefer it over T just marginally because of the cartoon aesthetic. Um, and I want to get my money's worth considering I paid so much for the bloody thing. Uh, moving down, this actually does have a little bit of movement on it, this shelf, uh, from last time. Um, at least one, if not two figures, I believe. Uh, uh, obviously, from memory, I don't think I had Hunk last time I did one of these videos. I could be wrong, but obviously there we have Fans Toys Hunk. And I know I definitely didn't have Rig, so Rig's the latest addition to the mini bots. 
Uh, I will go in on fans toys uh, gears when that finally releases. Uh, I do like the look of that. I think it looks better than the bag Q version uh, with the possible exception of the face sculpt actually. But again, it's a render, so who knows? But it, uh, it does look better, um, certainly proportionally and in the legs, certainly than the bag Q version. Uh, and at the front here, I guess it's fair to say that actually there are two of the figures I'd like to swap out. Uh, I would like someone to take another stab at wind charger because X Transbots boost is it's functional at best, isn't it? Let's let's just be kind and say that. Um, but the one that I'm really actually um, excited to get rid of because I think it's the one that aesthetically is the least um, fitting in this display now. It's the most incongruous of the lot. Is Cliff Jumper, and I'm going to go in on probably the official masterpiece and maybe also the fans' toys, depending on what that looks like. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait to swap this guy out because he just doesn't fit in now aesthetically compared to the rest of these guys. Even, you know, uh, Grump and uh, Boost still fit better aesthetically. So watch this space. I will be swapping him out. Uh, moving on down, we come to one of my favourite figures, obviously Fans Toys Phoenix. They're Jetfire slash Skyfire. Brilliant in both modes. Uh, got it for a steal as well. So that's why I love it so much. And... Uh, Another recent addition here is the aforementioned Janssen Janssen, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, something I wouldn't normally collect, a season two character, but this came up, it was 100 quid. It looked pretty good. Uh, there was nothing else coming out. I thought I'll give it a go, see if X-Transbots have turned it around. And they have, it's a really good figure. Um, and I've actually just gone in on the DS02 um, Recording Alliance figure, the, their blaster, Deformation Spaces blaster. And I did that again, you know, I kind of rationalised Perceptor because he he goes along with the core crew in Transformers the movie. So I thought, well, if I can have him next to those guys, at least it's thematically pleasing. Um, then I thought, well, I might as well get Blaster to go with um, Soundwave and just to, yeah. I, I'm completely rationalising nowadays, but it, it, it looked pretty good. So I'm going to wait and see what, that, uh, what that's like when it arrives. Um, next to him, this is the Blue Lobster uh what was it? Autobot Spike. Uh, yeah, that's all right. Uh, I mean, it's a statue at the end of the day, but I don't think I'm going to go in on the X Transbots version. I'm, I'm not really that bothered about the character. Um, this looks okay for what it is, and it was 17 quid. Um, that's actually it for the Autobots in this cabinet. We're down to some cons now, and at the back there, we obviously got Reflector, um, the Gestalt entity that he is, and this is Fans Toys Spotter. Uh, still probably the best version of the set. Uh, they all have their pr uh, pros and cons, but for me, I think it's the best overall. And then at the front, we have the Bag Cube Evil Bug Core, and obviously they're Insecticons. Again, I think in terms of overall value for money and quality, they are the best of the three available sets. I know people will argue fans' toys are better, uh, which they are in some respects, but also not as good in others. Uh, I think that um, these guys are pretty well built. They don't have a lot of, they don't have any die cast in them actually, but they still feel well made. They don't break, which the fans toys ones do. Um, and I think stylistically the fans toys edges them in terms of uh, certainly the lower extremities on bombshell uh, and maybe some sculpt detail lower down and things like that. Bag cube don't really do legs very well or feet. Um, but upper uppermost sort of portions of the bots look just as good on Bag Cube, if not better. Um, and I think they've got good personalities. So, yeah, happy with these guys. Uh, again, not much changed here, so I won't waffle on too much. Uh, let's move on to the final cab, shall we? Okay, and here we are in cab three of the main set. And yeah, this is obviously Season 1 Decepticons. And what have we got here? We've got the Infinite Transformations Megatron, which... I think just marginally better than the official in terms of colours and build. Uh, certainly mine, my official had a warped panel in the arm and things like that. Um, I just like the way this one looks. It's a little bit taller though, so it throws the scale off. But do you know what? Scales, I'm just having to get a little bit more relaxed about it because it's all over the shop now when you collect different lines especially. And even in the Masterpiece line, they seem to keep changing it. Um, but uh, yeah... What else have we got here? This is one of the newer ones that probably wasn't here last time. This is Acoustic Wave, uh, obviously a, a decent looking sound wave, more G1 accurate than the official Hasbro Takara version. Um, you know, really nice looking figure. 
and yeah, I, I you know part of the reason I got Blaster was just to have a counterpart to him, but I think he looks really smart. Um, and over here we have. I think the best version of Shockwave. I know people prefer the Plus Deco, or some people do, but I think the original Deco is more accurate. Um, so I'm very happy to have that. And down, well, I will say up here actually, technically Buzzsaw wasn't in season one, but it seems a bit weird not to have him in here. So he is included in this display. And so is Laserbeak. Now I use both of these as opposed to the Fans Toys Laserbeak. Uh, because I think it's a, a better mould overall, so nothing has really changed there. And again, with my KO rat back there, nothing has changed. What will have changed from last time is these three guys down the bottom. So you've got your uh, you've got your Rumble, your Ravage, and your Frenzy there it's to give them their tune designations. And yeah, obviously the Robot Paradise figures. These versions they just look so much better than the officials. Um, I had to swap these out. I say I think the Condor mould is actually better for Takara than it is for uh, um, fans toys robot paradise but yeah i uh, i definitely prefer these and i think actually uh, i if i if i zoom back up quickly i forgot to mention that obviously corvus there the fans toys laser beak is sitting atop megatron's shoulder there perch there um okay let's move on down this cab and we come to what's probably my current favorite mold uh, certainly my favorite display and it's obviously the takara seekers I just love the way the three of them look together. Uh, I know this mould has its detractors as well, and some people prefer the, the sort of size and presence of the DS Seekers, but for me, they're too boxy and tall. So I love the animation stylings of these guys. Um, they look really dynamic, um, and they pose well, and I just love them. I love the decos. I've even sort of come to terms with the purple they use for Skywalk now, uh, which looks better in person than it does on camera, I will say. Uh, much better under natural light but uh, yeah I just I just think they all they look fantastic together now and to have all three of them now I, I definitely didn't have that the last time I did one of these collections um, I've been waiting for a while I, I think I was probably on the make toy seekers the last time I did one of these videos but uh, yeah this uh, this is a really really brilliant display and you know as I've said one of my favorite uh, favorite shelves in the whole collection now moving down we are on the home straight and nothing's changed here really, so not too much to talk about. This is obviously my tomb version of Sovereign there, which I, I marginally prefer uh, to the uh, the one that uh, I bought originally, the original Deco. And then hiding away in the back there, we have X-Transbot Scourge Andras, uh, still waiting on Fans Toys version of that. That no doubt will look better than that, I'm sure. And then we have Fans Toy Cyclonus, uh, the tuned version again. Now, you know, I'm, it'll be really good when I've got the Fans Toys version because then I can have an entire Fans Toy shelf of, of three of my favourite movie characters, you know, Unicronian Heralds. Uh, so yeah, I really, um, I really like the way all three of these look together. But I think Fans Toy Scourge will just, you know, tie the set together nice, nicely. Um, it'd be more cohesive display. Um, I'm definitely going to keep Andras though because he will go very well with Elegos, uh, or he does go very well with Elegos, which uh, is obviously he's lurking away in the back. We'd never get rid of him. He looks great. Uh, prefer him to the new Deco actually. Um, and then I will get the X Transbots Adabon, Abaddon, sorry, which is uh, or Abaddon, whatever it is, uh, which is obviously their Galvatron. And then I'll have two sets of Unicronian Heralds with different stylings. Uh, I may even mix and match, who knows. Um, but yeah, this shelf really, I kind of bought Hydra to be a counterpoint to Magnus. So there were two really big bots on either side. Um, again, it was a slow month when I bought it. And then rounding out the collection, again, no change here. We've got another Cyclonus, <laughs> which is the original version of Quietus, which I put into IDW mode and fully intended to sell but then ended up really liking the way it looked so I've kept it as just a weird display option uh, it doesn't really fit but you know it is there and then we have the the nemesis uh, version of the te one mold which again I love the mold and I think this is the best deco it looks fantastic so that's actually it I mean there hasn't been a tremendous amount of change I'll, I'll grant you but uh, there have been a few things here and there so I hope you've enjoyed this look at, uh, at the new display uh, or, or certainly the new figures I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave you with a look or another look at the 
the Seekers, as they are my, my favourites at the moment. And yeah, thanks for watching. And it'd be nice to hear your thoughts in the comments and mention anything you've bought, what you're looking forward to, etc. Uh, especially over the coming year, that there is some exciting stuff coming. I'd love to get one of the new Devastators that's coming out if it actually releases fully next year. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. And until next time, take care, everyone.